Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 13th video of VMware vCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to deploy virtual machine by using template so in last video we have created some clone and some template of virtual machines and I am going to use the same template to deploy virtual machine right away so let's answer idea about my demo environment in my demo environment I have one server which is my active directory server and the other server which is win2k8 dc01 here it is I have installed active directory and DNS role on this server and configure and my domain name is victorinfosol.com and I have joined the vSetter server in my domain environment and victorinfosol.com so and my second server is win and is my vCenter server which is uh, which is like a vCenter-01 you can see from here this, this is my and nothing installed I have just installed vCenter server and all the four roles like, like single sign on and web client everything on this server so I have two ESX source which is ESX-01 and ESX-02 you can see I have added both the, both the ESX source in my vCenter environment so the last one is my Starwind application which is uh, running on my physical machine on which I am recording right now so if you go check out you can check out from here Starwind I have in Starwind a uh, three, 3 drive virtual drive here and I have connected with my all the two nodes ESX nodes with the two connections so for providing the multi path so I have total chi total six six path for my three virtual desk so this is all the details about the my infrastructure which I am using to do the demonstration here so so for now you can see I am on the my uh, vCenter server I have one machine which is powered up and if I want to go to template I, because in this video I am going to show you how to deploy template virtual machine by using template so if we want to see the template we have to go here from host and cluster right now we are on host and clusters so need to go in VM and template so we can see the all the VMs and template so this is the ma virtual machine you can see and this is the template so if if you go here you can see the definition what is template so everything is here so close it now you can see the template details here so we have option deploy virtual machine uh, deploy virtual machine from this template or convert this machine in template and last video I have showed you how to convert machine from template template to virtual machine and virtual machine to template so now I'm going to just deploy virtual machine by using this template so here we are deploy virtual machine from this template so click on it and we have a deploy template wizard and just need to select the name like I'm going to select type here name win 2 k 8 r 2 and put it server 0 1 next and we need to select the ESX host you can see both are suc validation successful so I'm going to deploy this time on ESX 0 1 so click next and we have like oh, some insufficient data space warning so I'm definitely I'm not going to install deploy this machine on my uh, local storage of ESX host so I'm going to deploy it on a LAN 2 you can see validation successful so it's it's basically checking the free space on data store so good to go click next and we have option power on this virtual machine after creation so and customization few customization thing so I'm going to leave this these things default here and click next and I'm going to click on edit virtual machines so we have a virtual machine edit wizard here and if ever I, I want to add something or change something I can do it from here so for now I'm going to leave it all the things default so now you can see cloning virtual machine is running so it's basically deploying virtual machine by using this template So you can see our server is here when 2k8 r2 hyphen server 01 and it's cloning the uh, like vmdk and all the virtual machines configuration and hard drive files to 
learn learn zero or learn one which we have selected in our uh, deployment wizard so just give it few minutes it's almost 40 percent completed so you can see deployment has been completed and now i'm going to power on this virtual machine and configure some post and solution task so because before creating the template we have run the sysprep on this virtual machine so it will ask to configure the few post and solution task for this virtual machine and will verify the the same role and feature has been deployed to this virtual machine also which we have uh, installed before creating the template and then last video so just wait for a few seconds to power on this virtual machine so it's powered on so here you can see setup is up, uh, updating registry settings now it's starting the services and configuring doing the some post installation tasks like initiating the drivers and everything which required machine at the first time boot so setup is installing devices Applying system settings. So now Windows Server 2008 R2 data center transition, choose the reason, time, time and currency and everything. So I'm going to leave the default. I accept the license term click on the start so Windows is finalizing your settings so password must be changed before the login so I'm going to set my password for administrator account. Changing password. We have changed the password successfully. Click OK. So we have logged into our server. So here we are. After this, we just need to rename our computer first and do the basic configuration like if we need to configure the IP address, we need to configure the IP address. So for now, I'm going to rename my machine name like call it win2k8r2 server 01 and it's cross the 15 character that's why it's giving error message that which may cause a conflict under the net bios resolution so it's okay no problem for me i'm not using the net bios resolution for now so click okay and I'm gonna restart machine after a few minutes 
so here I, I just want to show you the desktop experience telnet client windows over backup is installed there so like the the machine is configured as per template so we have done with this and just machine is restarting then the server is back to production if you want configure the IP address and join the machine in domain and we you have a full functional uh, server in your environment so this is all about deploying virtual machine from template and if you want to deploy machine again you just go here and deploy virtual machine from template and like give it name win2 k8 r2 server 0 2 and the same procedure here once again and select this yes exhaust and select the learn where you want to to deploy this machine so so the same procedure for deploying virtual machine again and again so nothing fancy so this is all about the deploying virtual machine from template and uh, thank you once again please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please uh, post me on my mail id thank you once again bye bye